previously on Into the Yonder Void. So we had our meeting with Fisher, and we were talking shop about architecting and stuff, and we told him about that crazy goo, and that piqued his interest. So he told us that he would give us this crazy gem if we went to this place uh, called... I don't know what it's called, but it's by the Volcanic Ridge, and we have to go find his friend there and give him a flask of the of the goo, and then I guess they'll do something about it, maybe. It doesn't sound super detailed, but Gil seemed really into the gem, so we're going to go do that. So we left the Elder Vault and went back to the scene of Gil's crime, and the Inquisitioner was there, so... Uh oh. The D20 Syndicate presents Into the Yonder Void. Inquisitioner. And, uh, oh, indeed. <laughs> Doing all of his Inquisition. <laughs> that, wait, was that his name? I mean, not his name, but that's what he is, right? He is a member of the Inquisition. They'd be called Inquisitors. I oh, whoops. <laughs> but I know. It's funny that yes. Han would call them yeah. Inquisitioner. <laughs> yes. 100%. Welcome back to the D20 Syndicate Podcast. Whee! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 oh, hey, clipping, clipping. <laughs> a weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5e actual play podcast. I am your host and DM, Seth, and around the table we have our players. I'm John Goodman, and I play the Cyclops. I'm Steve Buscemi, and I play the Velociraptor. I'm Mike Wazelski, and I play, wait, what, what are you saying after the name? <laughs> Velociraptor. <laughs> Cat? And I'm Michaela, and I play Cam. That's right. Each week we record for your listening pleasure. This is episode 52. Yeah. No. 53. Nope. 50. Episode 53. Shit. Yeah. Got us both this time. Yeah, yeah, man. I was looking for your hands. I was looking I'm for sorry. your hands. It's the remote thing. It always throws me off. Remote mm. doesn't exist in my brain. It doesn't save it. <laughs> I, have, I have no save file for remote <laughs> sessions. I don't think I like 53. Yeah, fuck it. What is that number? Let's skip it. Let's do 54. Ugh. No, let's own the number and make it the best fucking episode yeah, of the D20 sure. Lindsay kit we've ever done. I mean, done. 53 is uncomfortable. <laughs> so are up. the Inquisitors. So, wait, Inquisition? No, I'm Inquisitor. No, you were. You, you said Inquisitors? It right. It's an Inquisitor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so are Inquisitors. So. I'm <laughs> like scared weird, of it now. You're putting a weird I'm emphasis on it. Now. Inquisitor. I'm scaring myself. Inquisitor. <laughs> You're putting the wrong Inquisitor on the wrong syllable. Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa. Suck my balls. <laughs> okay. Tomas. All right. That was Ron to Hermione for being condescending to him. I was Ron, stop him. it. <laughs> stop it, Ron. Ew. Ew. Well, how about we do an around the campfire question? <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's around the campfire question. I want to know: Do you have any scars, tattoos, or birthmarks? And if so, how did you acquire them? And do they have any special significance? Think about that for a second, and I am going to call on Nezra. Well, Valdak said that when I was born, he was expecting me to be a different colored dragonborn, and that he believes that. My lack of pigment is actually a birthmark on my whole body. I don't know what that means exactly, uh, but I've always been kind of curious about that. Very nice. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we will go with Fee. So I don't have any scars or birthmarks, but um, I do have this tattoo along my arm. Just a regular tattoo. Um, maybe I'll, maybe I'll add something else to it one day, but it's, uh, so it, it kind of just matches my skin tone and it's just sort of wrapping around my arms, like vines sort of, um, I don't remember getting it though. So yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that, that's, that's about it though. Excellent. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Love it. You can go to the next one. <laughs> it's all right. Um, can. 
I don't have any tattoos yet. And I don't have any birthmarks that I know of yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. So good. But I've got a lot of scars. Like this one on my knee is from sleeping with my seashell collection. <laughs> <laughs> you should put it away before you fall asleep. Uh, then I have this one on my arm, and that one's from playing fruit ball when I was like 11. And then I have this weird one on my back. It's really big, but I don't know where that one's from. All right. Maybe Thank it's you. It's from the shells. <laughs> <laughs> The shells were alive. <laughs> the shells are alive. Ah! <laughs> With the sound of murder. <laughs> it's when you were stationed on the USS Indianapolis and it sank and you had to fight off sharks. <laughs> they were only biting your back. <laughs> ah, fuck that back. <laughs> this back in particular. That's what my self-defense course taught me. Turn your back to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> if they're being mean, just turn your back on them and walk away. Everybody knows the spine is like the most <laughs> hard part of your skeleton they can't bite through it it's physically impossible for a shark it's like it's like a diamond it'll break their teeth they can just sew your skin back up (laughs) (laughs) it wasn't working they're biting me they're biting me they're also biting my stomach I think I'm dying (laughs) that's how teeth work I've ceased to have legs Oh, I really fucked that shark up, though, I think. A bunch of his teeth fell out. I don't think they're supposed to do that on a regular basis. I don't think they grow them back ever. They'll probably choke on all my flesh he ate. I hope it hurts, asshole. <laughs> I had gallstones. I hope you choke on them. <laughs> Just a <laughs> torso floating <laughs> away. <laughs> you got deep blue seed. <laughs> oh, Michael Rappaport. And Shall Shark we? Week brought to you by D20 Syndicate. Uh, and Gil. Well, ever since I could remember, I always had this big scar on my torso that kind of makes like a Y. Uh, it starts up at the top of my chest and coalesces to my sternum and then goes all the way down. It's really weird. That's why, it? Why are you looking at me? I'm like, captivated because okay. it sounds like you got autopsied. <laughs> nah, that's not what happened. That'd be weird. I'm alive. <laughs> Stupid. Brandon, I'm alive. Have you ever fallen asleep in a bed of seashells? You know what? Yeah. But I, I, I sleep on my side, so. No. Have you ever tried to fight off a gang of sharks with your chest instead of your back? <laughs> you know that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. You gotta show that's them your back. You, fucked up. you gotta turn your back. <laughs> oh god, I can't wait to introduce a shark to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> when we last left off, you guys were in that uh, room of gunky Evil. nastiness and uh, dis- deciding your plans about what you should do, especially concerning the uh, Inquisition. And after. A bunch of other shit happened uh, after a weird Elder Vault situation <laughs> with the architect. But yes, you're in here and you were interrupted as stepping out of the darkness was the Inquisitor. <sighs> Fee's girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> hey, hey, guy, did you hear all of that? Yes, yes, I'm I I'm going did. to attack him. <laughs> I'm going to back up against the wall. You're going to attack him? How far away is he? Uh... 15 feet from you. All right, I'm going to just run up. Yeah! R- roll initiative, everybody. Oh, Shit. God damn it, Gil. No, this is great. <laughs> do it. I don't prefer do this. 21. I do. 16. Nez doesn't, but Billy does. 13. You'll still get your, so you're basically have your surprise round there. Sorry, 13 for Can. Ew. What was Fee? 16. And what was next? Sweet 16. It's doing the thing where it doesn't roll when I click on it and I'm logged in. Yell at it. I'm sorry. Bear Punch it. Me. I'm just going to roll Build a, a bridge around it. It's weird. Put a little it, fence around it. That stuff has like never happened on my D&D Beyond, but you guys have issues all the time. Yeah, it happened to me. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Yep. All right. Oh, that's why. Because I'm an idiot. 
Hi. Um. I was clicking armor class instead of initiate. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it telling me how much armor I have? I already know. <laughs> wow. I And I've had two and a half cups of coffee this morning. I like that you uh, correlate your intelligence to how much coffee you've had. <laughs> My alertness, awareness, general know-how. Do you go by percentage or letter grade? I don't understand the question. When you're judging how much coffee Maybe with the intelligence? Coffee. Exactly. Yeah, more coffee. <laughs> mm. Letter grade is in like ABCD. To be fair, he has yeah. stem cells in his coffee. So what happened to E? So he's super strong. <laughs> wow, yeah. I've got just like one really big arm. How do you not arm. know the history of this? <laughs> it's only working on one arm. But it's also like turning e? into a crab arm. Why is there <laughs> no E grade? There is isn't. Uh, That's JRPGs. very upsetting. Okay, let's do this. All right. Poor Mine e. was 21. Yep. Okay. I've got everybody's now. But yeah, so go ahead, uh, Gil, with your attack. That is a 19 and a 26. Oh, yeah. To hit. All right. All right. You hit. You're what, my favorite rapier. You were, you were using what? Pulling out my rapier. Okay. I was drawing it as I was running up to him. Which uh, is a sick move. First attack is 10 damage, three of it's psychic. Okay. The second one is 14 damage, four of its psychic. All right, so Gil comes racing in with his, like, immediately with his rapier, slash, slash. I want to say poka poka. Oh, you're going to do, do a poke poke. poke. <laughs> okay. So uh-huh. poke poke. <laughs> and you watch as the Inquisitor just like doubles backward <laughs> and immediately falls onto his back. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm, no, no more. No more. Whoa. What is happening? What? Quick question for you. Did you ever replace your eye patch? No. I had a, a fake one on with my disguise, but ah. my disguise is gone. Okay. Now. Okay. And he's like laying there, like just trying to scoot back in a way as, as Gil. Hey, bah, 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 bah. Don't move, buddy. <laughs> Come on, get over here, guys. She was like starting to change seasons, and now she's like, huh? <laughs> I there, stomp up. There are two doorways, right? Yep. One on, on either opposite. side. Okay. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on both of those and kind of like. Eyes darting back and forth while I'm backed against the wall in the middle of the room. Okay. Our grandma is fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, w- w- what? <laughs> is it the same guy? Does he still look like the Inquisitor? You're noticing that something is d- off now. Uh, his skin looks a little bit paler. <gasps> Shapeshifter! And oh. <laughs> do you say that in character? Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> is this Loom's friend? Oh. Are you Loom's friend? Well, and the voice changes quite a bit, and you watch as <laughs> the shape of the Inquisitor transforms into a an individual with very, like, grayish, pale skin, uh, medium length, wh- like, bone white hair, colorless eyes, with circles around them, almost like a raccoon's, you are looking at a changeling. You cannot do this to us, guy. With the day that we've had, are you kidding me? You come in here like an inquisitor? Well, maybe he is. One sec, I'll send you the picture here. So you can kind of see what <laughs> you're looking at. It's just ditto. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, little hand soap. <laughs> Little squirt. <laughs> wow. I always crazy. do something cool and hurt someone that <laughs> doesn't, doesn't deserve it. <laughs> well, don't draw him like an inquisitor. Unless, I guess, if he's an inquisitor. So, can I, like, stand up now? Are you guys going to attack me again? Well, we still don't know some shit. Like, why are you up in here? Why were you dressed like that? Are you an inquisitor? Answer all of these questions. Right. All at once. <laughs> I'm not the Inquisitor. Why were you dressed like one? Oh, God, don't do that. My uh, style of humor might not be for everybody, Um, but I thought it would be a funny prank. (laughs) Um, I thought, hey, I'll pretend to be the Inquisitor, and then, because you guys were talking about the Inquisitor, and then I was like, I'll come in here and just be, you know, It'll be really funny, and we'll have a good laugh afterwards. <laughs> Continue poking him. <laughs> <laughs> that was, like, the last person that you want to change into. Do you guys have, like, an issue with the Inquisitor? Yeah. Can I Can I stand up? Fine. I'm not going to attack you. I'm not the Inquisitor, I promise. 
Fee's gonna insight side eye him. Check. Yeah, an insight. <laughs> he could still be the Inquisitor. Are there doors? Like, I don't know. like actual. There's doorways, but are there like doors that can be shut? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, both yeah. on okay. both sides. Yep. So I'm gonna go to like the front, quote unquote, door, and I'm gonna shut that one. Okay. The one that we didn't enter from. Was that even open? Because we came through the T intersection door. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was a door at the other end of the room that yeah. I never opened. Oh. I thought you went down in the hole, opened the door to the gunky room, yes. and then left out the back door of the gunky room. No, there's a T intersection hallway that leads out to the alley with bars. Mm-hmm. That's where we came in just now. So the T goes, the other end of the hallway is the entrance into the gunky room, and then the long hallway goes to the bottom of the chest. Yeah, see, uh, don't know what's through that other door. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. But is that door open? No, uh, yes, right now it is. Oh, interesting. I'm going to shut it. My insight. <laughs> we got back there. My insight was not in. It was outside. Mine was 15. <laughs> 15. I mean, it's really suspicious, I guess, how, uh, how he reacted. But based on his immediate response to being attacked, you can probably pick up that he's not super good with fighting or maybe he's just very avoidant of it <laughs> he looks happy <laughs> so are you loom's friend yeah yeah my name is my name's shade um i am a changeling i am very sorry for that great poking by the way that was uh that just got me i didn't even have time to react to it oh buddy there was gonna be so much more than just a poking i'm quite famous for my poking <sighs> and then I look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, did you meet Loom? Did you find him? He was looking for you. Yeah, where is he? Uh, yeah, he was outside. Um, is he in on the prank? <laughs> no, he's not in on the prank. In fact, he'd probably be real cranky that I uh, did that. So let's maybe not mention that to him. Uh, we're g- great friends, but he is... It has a terrible sense of humor. He does not understand anything. I thought you guys, you guys seem like you joked around a lot, so I thought maybe you'd appreciate it. That was me misreading the situation. Really apologize for it. Well, we we usually like to joke around and have hijinks, right, the guys? Yeah, just, I guess you, I, you seem a little tense right now. Just bad yeah. context, because right <laughs> now we're kind of wanted by the Inquisition in here. So, yeah, um, and also in- Inquisitors and, uh, you know, Warlocks, that whole thing. Do you know about that? Yeah. All right, easy, uh, easy. All right, it's fine. Let's it's not fine. say all of this. We'll just, we'll move <laughs> beyond. Yeah. You, Sorry, you like heard I said, us. you guys, it seemed really fun the first few times, um, but you guys, this time, I guess, was not not the time, so. <sighs> I feel like reading a situation comes with maturity. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just, I understand. It's it, it was my bad. Big bad on my part. Apologize for that. Did not intend to get poked or stabbed or anything like that. Just trying to have a laugh. Pretty it's m- cool. We could still be friends. Yeah, pretty much any other joke would probably be fine and funny. Just uh, no inquisitors, please. And then uh, from the uh, from down the hallway, uh, did you close the door, by the way? Mm-hmm. You hear like a knock. K-k-k-k. Hello. Are you guys in there? And that's obviously Loom. Mm-hmm. Okay. I All was right. trying to make it muffled, but I ended up making him sound like Liam Neeson. Go like that. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. Are you guys in there? Uh, is no. that you, Loom? <laughs> yes. I, is there like, is it a knob? Is it a ring? Ring. I'm going to pull it open just a little bit and peek out. Okay. You The little dimness of light that kind of peeks in there, you can see Loom. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Nizra. Hello. Come in, quick. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> he, he, like, he looks can around. see me like <laughs> pointing a razor at the guy on the floor. Hey. And I'm gonna shut the door behind him when he gets in. As Loom like takes stock of the room, he just <sighs> Shade. Did you try pranking them? And Shade's like, Yeah, didn't go well. You were right. Um <laughs> this is um k- k- this is my friend Loom, who you have also become acquainted with. Does this? Can I stand up now? I'll cane my sword and I'll offer him my hand since All I right. stabbed he, him. He takes it, pops right up, and uh, just kind of like looks around. So yeah, um, welcome to my house. Appreciate you guys swinging this by. This is your house. Yes. 
This is my house. Gosh, dude. <laughs> okay, well, we have some shit to talk about. <laughs> yeah, like interior design. My, ugh. Or well, this, this is this is just an offshoot of my house. Um, really though, my house is you know down a bit, and uh, I think Nezra is that right? I think you already experienced my house. So, was your house the mortuary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in. Well, it's not actually a mortuary. You it's went just, to a mortuary. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, where I ended up when I ran away. Oh, hmm. Why do you have this lab here with this bad shit? Oh, this is actually not mine. Um, well, let me back up. I didn't put this stuff in the vials. I did bring them in here because I wanted to figure out what was going on. Because there has been a lot of this stuff getting dumped into our, you know, port. And I wanted to maybe figure it out, but so far, I haven't been very uh, lucky at that. That is such a coincidence, because that is my thing that I am doing right now, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, it's been fun watching you guys figure that stuff out. You watched us? I mean, yeah. Watched me where? Are you Biscuit? Like our architecture <laughs> plans? Are you Biscuit? Uh, I actually don't know who Biscuit is. Oh, I'm not fuck. Biscuit. But I am, and you watch as he <laughs> becomes the Heron God that asked you guys for uh, assistance, and then <laughs> becomes the Owlin that you thought you killed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and then. <laughs> oh, man. Becomes the uh, tiefling outside with the fish that was trying to get into the door. <laughs> and oh, then. Man. Oh. Wow. Back to shade. All the NPCs we ran into. So do you not actually have a ship? Um, I do. It's currently out of commission, but it's uh, it's not whatever it was. I told you yellow something, I think. Um, yeah. Wait. Shit. Where did you shit. get all those teeth? Oh, so <laughs> we can get into that. But anyway. I murder for I fun. I think you guys have. <laughs> <laughs> Pranks, murders, that's my jam. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Loom was telling me you have some questions about something. Do you know Fisher? Fisher, uh, the architect, I think, over at uh, the Elder Vault, yeah? Yes, exactly. I don't know him. Uh, I've talked to him a few times. Uh, I think I sat at a table at a tavern uh, that he was near, but don't really know him too well. Why, do you need me to look into him for you? Well, no, but he he was kind of helping us uh, with figuring out... The, th the stuff that's being dumped into the water. Oh. Well, I didn't know he cared. He He's told us to go to some cared. island. What was it called? He wanted us to go to... Uh, well, Shield Seeker. Or is that the person? He wanted us to go to the Volcanic Ridge Village of Shield Seeker okay. on Mount Poorlock. But we also <laughs> we need to go <laughs> to the city beneath the waves. Do you know where that is? Oh, um, kind of? Yeah, I know how to get there. I've never been there, but I know roughly where it is. Oh, great. Well, then I don't have to... That's good. That's good to know. Any um, chance uh, it's near that volcano place? Um... Same direction, maybe? No. Great. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could probably... No. I mean, if you're going to both, you could... <sighs> no, no. You wouldn't be able to do that. You'd have to backtrack a bit. Can I roll insight? Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Are you from here? No. Where what? are you from? All over. That's what, what I normally say. What are you say. doing here? Oh, it's it's a place to just kind of set up for a while. 21 on the insight check? Um, he's... You don't think he's lying about the direction, but there was... The pause was the method... Maybe the method... Mm -hmm. of travel. Lying by omission kind of yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. So how do you know Loom? Oh, we uh, we used to be a part of the same, and Loom interrupts. <clears throat> we work friends, you can say. Did you say we work friends? We were work friends. Oh, okay. He's my friend from work! Shade has traveled uh, a lot. Knows information that I don't have access to and is usually my point of contact when I need further information on something. And we can trust you, Shade? 
Um, I mean, no. if you couldn't <laughs> trust me, why would I say well, good point. that you couldn't? Loom, you That's think we can trust That's a weird way shade? to answer that question. Not going I'm just to being lie. logical. I just... I deal yes, with a lot of... Yes, you seem like the logical type. I deal with a lot of, you know, cloak and dagger stuff, so, you know? So, yeah. Loom, are are you familiar with the village of Shieldseeker? I am not familiar with that village either. Are you familiar with Mount Porlock? No. What about Summerhide? No. What about a guy who calls himself the Skin? That does ring a bell for me. Sounds like the name of a changeling, if you ask me. But I can't recall exactly what that is. Um, do you have any further details? Well, he's an alchemist, hmm. and he's supposed to be there at Shield Seeker. That's when Shade, like, uh, pops up again. I know the skin. So you guys are also looking for the skin. Wait, also? Yeah. Are you? What? No, he just means in relation oh, in to the things that we're... in addition to what we are doing. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, that was kind of ambiguous. I apologize. That's Sorry. okay. Yo, Shane. I'm, I'm more interested in, you know, omitting information than being able to communicate it. That's not really a characteristic of a good friend. Um, I look at Loom. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, neither is poking them. Um, I look at Loom. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shade, are you like a Feywild changeling? Or are you like a Shadowfell changeling? What's up with that? Um, neither. I didn't know there were other kinds. Yeah, there's a couple other kinds. Um, I guess I... He, like, looks around. Why don't we continue this conversation in my house? Aren't we in your house right now? We're in like an outside. <laughs> He's <access>. subletting. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a laboratory. This is where cellar. the squatter lives. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where I keep my teeth. You, are you guys hungry? You want some drinks? I've got plenty. The second one. All right. Well, if you want to follow me, we can absolutely talk more about this, and and uh, we can get you know a plan together for what you guys want to do. Okay. Yeah. I'm not in the mood for a prank drink, though. I won't. I'm, I can see by Loom's look that I should be on my best behavior, so I will not be pranking you. Plus, it'd be kind of weird to prank you inside my house. This, this is kind of like a cellar in a sense, but inside my house, all business, promise. No pranks inside, okay. Yeah, don't dose me, No bro. prank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but that will mean that I'll have to shut off the, uh, the illusion protection, so... Uh, but that's mm-hmm, inside mm-hmm. the door, so don't freak out if something weird happens when we get in. It is an illusion. Okay. Um. So, hey, while we're talking and walking here, do you have a means of, like, some really fast transport to get to uh, either of these places? Like a sports car, speedboat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sports boat. Why, why would you ask that, Lindsay? Hmm? <laughs> why would you ask that, Lindsay? Why? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, no, um, he, he just kind of, like, laughs. <laughs> Man... Yeah, it's just, I wish there was, uh, you know, fast travel methods for a lot of things. Usually the best route is ship, unfortunately. Okay. Luckily, I've got the lead on the ship, I think. Oh. Not not yours, but someone well, else. If you had, trust me, that lead would be burnt up because it is getting repairs. Plus, so, it's not super big. An old flame of mine is in town. I think her name is Valerie or something. You think her name is Valerie? <laughs> Well, it was a very quick meeting. It was a very quick flame. It went out really quick. <laughs> Ooh. Like one of those Ew. tea lights. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> there were a lot of tea lights. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw her boat. Oh. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> and yes. <laughs> so she's got to be somewhere around here. So oh. she's in the... She's in Skullport right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Talking about Beeson? The one of the guards no, that you stole the bracelet. No, off of? she she's into me too, oh, I but no, about not that. her. God. But some other Brazen. person. Brazen? Mm-hmm. Right <laughs> Some on. other lady. I must have fat fingered. <laughs> so Shade, do you have a ship just in case Gil's flame has burnt out? Uh I do, but it is currently under repairs, so Oh that's right. Yeah. The, the repair <laughs> thing. <laughs> How long will that take? Uh, None of us are carpenters either. Yeah, it'd be a lot faster if uh, there wasn't such a shortage right now. There's a big storm uh, 
few days ago that kind of damaged a bunch of ships. I was out in it and wait, you had you had the storm too, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, oh. to the north here. We also experienced a storm, but it wasn't nearby. From what it sounds like, it seems like it happened in a lot of places. Weird storm. Sounds kind of fishy to me, uh, but especially because of the damage. Anyway, any you guys are walking down the hallway, and you haven't been to this section yet, Gil, but it starts to become less of like just the clustered stone, or sorry, the like cubic foot of stone, and turns more into like you know more aesthetically pleasing stone, like somebody actually Masonry. wants. Yeah, somebody wants from people like to see cobblestone this. to bricklaying. Yeah, okay, and. You, he takes you left, right, down a few other <laughs> passages until you get to another door, and he kind of turns and looks at you guys. Okay, we're uh, basically here. I am going to deactivate the illusion protection, and like I said, nothing you see is actually going to hurt you. And then he opens the door, and instantly you guys see this, like... <laughs> room full of like corpses like shambling towards you guys and with like fingertips dripping like gunk and everything like that and shade like is like (laughs) moving around the wall and then slaps it and they all just (laughs) disappear (laughs) did you have fun earlier when you were in the house was that fun was it scary (laughs) it did deter you i noticed that which is supposed to be what it does it it wasn't fun at all no i was scared for my life Oh, well, good, good. It's working. That's that's <laughs> great. Also, you probably shouldn't sneak into people's houses. I admit that was a little out of character for me. Uh, I was very scared at the time. And then your house made me more scared. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. I mean, it must be super effective then, because if he was already super scared and got them more scared. That's great. You ostensibly heightened my fear. Excellent. What was chasing me in the hallway? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It kind of, uh, the illusion is kind of its It's procedurally own thing. generated. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of its own thing. There's There are runes that I place throughout the house. Suffice to say that when you pass over a specific rune, it sort of gets an idea of what you might be afraid of. Oh. It's got a little bit of... Yeah, a little bit of psychicness to it, and then the illusion magic, and it's it's very, very complex. Can I ask, uh, does or did the family of tieflings in the portraits exist? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, it, that is just kind of one of the things, the features. It'll mm. kind of make the house look like whatever it wants. I've never actually really experienced it too much. Where do you Yeah, where do you learn how to do this shit? That sounds oh, cool. Oh, I, I I purchased it. I didn't I didn't build it. Really? Yeah. Where where'd you buy it? A friend of mine is an artificer. Oh man. That's Gave it to me at a pretty well I found it, on it was Craigslist. A, <laughs> claims it was a, a discount, but yeah, you know, I don't think it was. Not, we're not close friends, I should say. Okay. Huh. Anyway, here's my house, and he starts toddling up these stairs and uh, leads you guys into this not bad-looking place. It's uh, it's not, like, hyper-opulent, but it's not a shack in shambles either. Uh, and you looked at the outside, and it was the mortuary, and it looked kind of, like, old and boarded up. Yeah, inside is not mortuary-like at all. It is very much, very cavernous and wide, but... Just has a nice flow to it. Dude like pulled a Pennywise TARDIS on us. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's yeah, it's real nice in here. Huh? Does it have a sunken living room by any chance? It does not. Damn. Hmm. Unless you want it to. That was about to be a bachelor own. pad situation. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he le- he leads you around. He starts like pointing at places. Uh, so this is my painting room. Over here is the kitchen. <laughs> and he's like, if you Way need to nice. use the bathroom, it's down there. Um, what do you guys want to eat or drink? Do you have any fruit juice? Oh, yeah. I love fruit juice. Me too. Excellent. Um, I think I made some banana juice earlier. That's my favorite. Really? Oh, yes. Excellent. What does everybody else want? I'll take that. Banana juice. Banana juice. Points at you, Gil. Booze. Oh, excellent. And uh, how about you? Maybe a bit of both. Banana booze and banana booze. Banana booze. I like it. I like Get it. The okay. Booze, the banana Loom, booze. Loom, do you want anything? <laughs> and oh, I'm geez. John Wilkes Banana Booze. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, just have some 
B- banana juice, that's fine. And uh, he, like, scurries into the kitchen. I want he, hard banana booze, too. Or uh, banana what? juice. Nice. Banana what did you say? Banana, both of them. Oh, okay. Uh, does anybody else want the combo? Nez, do you, you have any you coconut juice? I do not have coconut juice. Okay, I'll just have the banana juice, please. Okay, okay, excellent. And he starts whipping things up. And he's like kind of like shouting to you guys while he's cooking from the, you know, he's like cooking. 50 feet away in the in the kitchen. Sorry. Cooking us up some <laughs> uh, He's just like, please don't so, dose me. So how do you guys <laughs> like uh, Skullport so far? Pretty it's, cool, huh? It's terrifying. Yeah, horrifying. There's been some bad shit so far. It's polluted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The merchants aren't much to call for either. Yeah, you guys kind of got us here in, a, in an off season. It's uh, you hear like, a <laughs> <laughs> like him like just. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, play Black Eyed Peas mix. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an off season. Uh, the storm kind of fucked with some things, and then uh, the last few months have been just kind of not great for business here. It used to be like, man, you. You couldn't, you could barely walk without running into a vendor of some kind, but, you know, it's still got its its nice, nice things, its moments, really. What are your theories on the green stuff? Oh, well, that, so from what I can understand is it's some, it seems to have some kind of blood in it, so don't drink any. Ew. Why did you drink some? I didn't actually drink any. Oh. I pretended to drink because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Shit, it's like the faculty. <laughs> After a um, minute or two, he comes out with a tray and he hands everybody uh, no alcohol in the banana juice. Thank Oops, you. All alcohol. Booze. <laughs> and then the combo for you two. And then here you go, Loom. Oops, well, all booze. Thank boozies. you. I'm excited. I never thought to mix banana and alcohol. You just oh. did. Well, Nin- na- now I did. 99 bananas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That shit is so good. You There's know, just one in this one. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that we're all tucked away up in here. Yeah. He's, you guys, are, like he gestures to the, if you want to sit, I've got some couches and they look pretty comfy. All right. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sit. I'll a lot of there. Ottomans, a lot of like throws and stuff. It looks very comfortable. Are Isn't there a- possibly any hammocks? There's a hammock. Sweet. One hammock. Do <laughs> our drinks have straws in them? <laughs> no. Oh. But you could probably ask for one. Do you happen to have any straws? Um, sure. Does anybody else want a straw? What color yeah. are they? Uh, they're just uh, brown. They're made of wood. Straws are bad yes. for the environment. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's wood. Think of the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's I a did shirt. see a painting of a group of people pulling a straw out of a turtle's nose. <laughs> <laughs> it was very sad. Yeah. <laughs> he returns with with uh, a few straws and hands them out. Thank you. And I'm gonna like very quietly just kind of shuffle over to the hammock and settle in. So the hammock is probably like. 20 feet away from everything else Perfect. so you'll be <laughs> you'll be like on your own over there but. so if there's like a what couch <laughs> if there's like a couch I'm gonna like kind of take up two seats and I'm gonna do the like lean back uh, uh, yeah. dude okay. uh, lounging pose basically. Cro- cross the pirate boot feet yeah, yeah. yeah. Hooves. Pirate I'm gonna lie down pirate. on an ottoman you're gonna lie down on an ottoman just on my stomach okay <laughs> On the stomach. <laughs> With your, I imagine your feet up and you're like Cute. kicking yeah, your feet a you little know, bit. Yeah, you know, like slumber party stuff. Yeah. yeah. We're going to watch Clueless. <laughs> what about you, Fee? Um, I'll sit down cross-legged on the floor. Okay. And nice. I'll actually say, hold on a sec. And I'm <laughs> I'm going to do a fine familiar ritual if I can. There you go. Finally. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right, so you'll need some space for this ritual. Really? Mm-hmm. It requires mm. break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a sp- uh, like a part of the room that's pretty spacey? Yeah, there's, it's oh, pretty okay. big in here, so you could probably find any spot. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll find a good spacious spot and so take get an hour, going. Hour and ten minutes. Yep. All right. <laughs> so you start, you know, setting your ritual up like. You know, your salt circles and things like that you'll, you'll need for it. But uh, Just dumping salt on this guy's living room floor? It'll be consumed in the spell. <laughs> so yeah, he, the shade kind of sits sits down, kind of front and center, leans back, throws his arms up on the back of the couch, crosses his legs. So, 
What were we talking about? Hold on. It's not all just about you, buddy. Um, <laughs> so we've been, we've become fugitives together. We've been through all this shit and fugitives? whatnot. You just chill out, man. Just be here for the ride, okay? Maybe. But we never really learned much about each other, you know? Like, we just kind of went and did all this shit, and now we're, you know, tied up in this bullshit. So we should probably learn more about each other, right? Now's a good time. I'm down if you guys are down. What did he say? <laughs> 20 feet's not that far. Um, <laughs> I'm like in a trance thing when I'm doing a ritual, right? I don't uh, think you have to be blind I, to no. your, Or can I be no, talking yeah, you, still? You, you, as long as you're not doing anything sh- Oh, like thank was. fuck. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, I was like, God damn. Man, I could have done this sooner. But then. you won't get the benefits of a short rest while this is happening. That's fine. So. Like we know, we know Ken. We took a tour of your village and shit, and we know what you're about. We you want your artifact and stuff. Is there any weird secrets about you or anything we ought to know? Weird secrets. Um, you know, we could play a, a drinking game since, some, like, most of us have booze. Like what? Um, you know, I mean, there's a few different ones. I would have thought that you would have played a lot, Gil. Usually the drinking games I play revolve around, like, feats of sure, skill and shit. And danger and such. Hmm. So, uh, gonna be honest, I've never gotten to play a drinking game. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I've always really wanted to. It looks really fun when I see people, when I see people game in taverns. Really, you guys yeah. could just drink and chat. That's true. We I could. guess that's a, uh, a fine. We could do that. In a not game. Yeah, just cut out the middleman, learn about sure. each other and cheat. Okay. I'm very interested to learn more about you guys. Hey, Fee. Loom told me a couple of things, but... Speaking of this, Loom, what's your fucking deal? Can just t- ask oh, you Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear it. Have you ever tried, like, drinking a lot at once to see if that helps you remember? So... That's an interesting take. I've never found that to be a thing. Like, the more I drink, the more I forget stuff. I, well, maybe I, like current stuff, but sometimes when I'm drinking a lot, then I, I think of stuff that I haven't thought about in a really long time. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, so I've uh, tried a few things in uh, some darker moments, I guess you could say. Different, like, plants and herbs and lots of alcohol. Um, but, yeah, I uh, just can't seem to... Gather those memories. They're just eluding from me entirely. But you remember all the shit after you got out of the fake crossing, Sure, right? yeah. Yep. Like, right after that. Remember all of that. Shade leans forward, like, <laughs> fingers laced under the chin. <laughs> like, you have amnesia? Oh, you're my favorite type of person. Absolute favorite type of person. <laughs> you like people with amnesia? It always is more interesting when I have to find the information out. I love gathering information, and those are the biggest challenges. I love it. I love it. Keep it up. Let's see. What do you got? I lean over towards Gil's direction. Looks like we found her next boyfriend. (laughs) (laughs) Get the pretty long list for me. (laughs) Are they whispering? Sounds like it. Can I hear it? I nope. Don't know. Were you <laughs> were you whispering? I was saying it kind of under my breath. Yeah, you're far enough away that you wouldn't be able. Oh, to she's true. engaged yeah. in conversation. I am. And a ritual. Boyfriend. Yeah. And a ritual. Yep. You got to play a drinking game while putting that ritual together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't booze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, it's I all summoned crooked. the goddamn devil instead of my familiar. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie oh, I'm imagining her taking shots and like dipping into the ring of salt for the wine. <laughs> How long ago was that? The f- it's been a few years. Like Yeah, it's been uh, eight years or oh, so. Oh shit, wow. Shit. I haven't been back in a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shit's happened since then. Yeah, you did tell me about that. Yeah. Um, you don't know if anyone survived then? Uh, no. Te- technically, I don't. I. Uh, it looked bad. Yeah, well, Rolf's a tough guy. He probably survived. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, Clove and Birch are okay, too. I, I, I don't know them. Are they furbolgs? Yeah, they're very smart. 
And I feel like they would have to have some kind of plan in place, but I haven't been back there. I feel like this might be a bummer conversation. It's, it's definitely a bummer. I'd be cool if we changed topics. So, uh, Gil, what about you? What do you mean? Like, what have you been doing the past eight years other than, you know, becoming fugitive, stealing chips and shit? I didn't, I didn't steal ships. I feel I, like I you was stole trying a ship. to steal a ship <laughs> okay. when I met you guys. Okay. But that was after I had my own ship. Oh, oh I see. So you only tried to steal the one. <laughs> Technically, I mean, you could call the other times antiquing. <laughs> and we weren't really stealing their ships as so much as their belongings on the ships. But, I mean, that wasn't my favorite part about being a pirate. I really liked just sailing on the seas and getting into adventures. Sometimes we'd help people. But I don't think everyone else wanted to help people. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, well, being on the water is cool. Huh. Um. But, I mean, I did that for a while. I was part of the Petite Sweet Fleet Elite for a while. I went to jail for a while. <laughs> <laughs> jail! Jail! <laughs> Not my favorite time. Yeah, but... from the way you said it, it sounds like it. But yeah, I mean, after that, you know, things were pretty good, and then my crew abandoned me at the port. Yeah. Why? Wow. You know, they didn't say. They were just kind of gone <laughs> when I woke up. But you so. didn't, like, feel like you did anything and was like, oh, maybe that didn't go over well? Well, I had some arguments things. with Gans about leading and how I would run the ship. He thought he could do it better than me, but I was like, oh, he's just being Gans. Uh, he'll, he'll, I'll win so him over. So that's where the name came from. What name? What do you mean? You, you had someone call you Gans at one point. That was one of your aliases you yeah. used at Cannes in, in uh, Luta. Nah, That's you right. can't prove anything. But um, <laughs> he didn't like me sometimes, but we were cellmates, and, you know, I bet he probably convinced everyone else to turn their backs on me. Huh, yeah, maybe. Shade, like, leans forward to you, Gil. So interesting. What sort of person is Gans? Are you not- trying to become him? <laughs> what? Because you like to change in the stuff. Ooh, well, that's to, spicy. I would have to probably see him in order to transform. Or get a really good description. Well, yeah, but that's never as accurate. Can as you to change into me? Yeah. And then <laughs> shade becomes can. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make out. <laughs> um, you two could do that sh- mere miming thing. Oh, no, Turns back into shade. Gans was more of the serious type. Like, he would like to run a tight ship and make sure everyone was in line. He was a very good first mate. I don't think he's captain material, though. But, <laughs> I mean, I think he heard me say that one time when we were getting in an argument. <laughs> he's a big dude. He's a big, like, Cowie like dude. He's like mm. a what are they called? They have big minotaur. Horn. Yeah, that's it. He's a minotaur. I have met this Gans. Oh shit! Where? Out and about on like the ocean. Recently? Mm, maybe two years ago. Oh shit! Fuck. <laughs> I've been trying to find them for like two years, and I haven't gotten a word about it. Well, that was. You're a long way from where I saw them. I don't know if they've made it over this far. I was over near Argaria. Okay. If that make... Like, everybody's looking at him. Uh, You guys are familiar with Argaria, I take it? That's where we're from, man. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Cool, cool. What was he doing when you saw him? Uh, Masquerading as a devil. (sighs) Oh, damn it. (laughs) Um... Oh, he took my moniker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sor- sorry. Is that where you get the devil of the deep? Devil of the deep. That was it. Devil of the deep. He was calling himself the devil of the deep. Mm, he sounds um, so cool. That's ship, what I was. I was cool. Was the f- f- uh, Furtive glance. Furtive glance. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I've 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 met uh, yeah Gans, um, the devil of the deep. I guess you can call him. And that's what he wants. So um, Gans kind of stole your identity. He stole my life. Damn. But 
Okay, to be fair, I stole he the devil of the deep's life before that, but it was mine. Oh, hmm. gotcha. So it's just like this, you know. Perpetual cycle. Yeah, you just you hand it down to like your, your mentor, mentor to mentee. I can't picture him being a devil. He's too, he's too uh, stoic and quiet and grumbly. Well, There's no panache. Well, he has the horns and the hooves. He also had a lot, you know, a lot of crew members. They were, they seemed to really like him. <laughs> well, good for them. <laughs> I am so sorry if this unearthed a bit of bad feelings. It, 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 it's motivating me. I've been kind of lazy, but I feel like I, I've got to get out there and get that shit back. Well, it might be hard to get back if they're still in Argaria. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about the big old blockage. What? Blockage? Uh. Argaria a, ate too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> There's a huge wall of arcane energy blocking passage over long distances on the ocean. Oh, it, shit. It's pretty much cut off this continent's and archipelagos and stuff uh, from getting anywhere. Huh. Yeah, well, people have been losing a bunch of money. What happens when or, they try to go through it? Archipelagos. He says archipelagos. <laughs> What happens when you try to go through it? Does it, like, Caribbean. kill people? Uh, you, you can't even, like, get close enough to it? Because the, the water near it is boiling. Damn. Uh, so it immediately makes it impossible to get close enough. Heat, the water roiling and stuff like that messes up the actual navigation. Hmm. It's, it's a mess out there. Oh, um, yeah, is. people have tried and people have died. It's been like this for, you know, like... Maybe a week or two? Fuck. I don't know. Yeah, not long, but yeah, people are freaking out along the coasts. What about airships? Airships also, yeah, it's huge. It's it's going clear up. That's so weird. Hmm. You'd have to get a pretty pretty good altitude. As far as I know, airships can't go that high. Has anybody tried going underneath it? I don't know. I haven't. Um, I haven't heard of anybody doing anything like that, but that's it. I can ask around if you want. That might be incentive for us to find this city under the sea. Yes. We uh, may be able definitely. to find uh, transportation underneath this mm. wall of magic and get back to Argaria. That, that's if they good. happen to have underwater vessels, a lot of uh, seafaring creatures don't need them mm. it's more of like a tourist attraction thing well the city under the waves as far as i understand isn't a isn't under the waves it's an actual city oh. on an island i don't oh, i don't know where the name God. comes from necessarily but lies. Lies. you know i've never normal lie shit i've never heard of it actually being under the water but i guess that would make sense to be fair, I haven't been there, but nobody's mentioned that they had to go underwater when they went there. Got a real Iceland-Greenland situation going on here. <laughs> Is I mean, that the real city's name? No, it's Astora. Oh, Astora. Is That's Astora good to on know. the map? The Astora is on the map. Uh -huh. Sick. Uh -huh. Excellent, excellent. I, uh, I kind of fumble out of the, <laughs> hammock. the hammock. Yeah, <laughs> and I teeter, like trying to balance my drink <laughs> and come over and I uh, I set my drink down next to can on the ottoman mm -hmm. and I get my satchel and I get the map out and I unfurl it in the middle of the floor so yep. that everybody can see. I think this, and I point to wherever is, uh, is uh, the city under the waves. Yeah, if that's what you're looking for, it's right there. Okay. Though you are, and he points to a channel on it, you aren't going to want to take the direct route. Um, you are you spent some time on a ship. You probably won't have any issues navigating around it. But, um, I mean, if you don't have your own ship, it might be difficult to tell someone else on their ship which way to go. People tend to frown on that. Uh, people I think bet they, I can do it. Okay, I'm just saying, don't go down that channel. Why? You will be 100% attacked. Oh. That. By what? The channel. <laughs> a bunch of pirates. Oh. There's so many pirates. They call it Pirate Alley. Oh, oh Pirate okay. Alley. Yeah, I've heard of it. Could hmm. we potentially be attacked by the furtive glance, do you think? If they're over here, I don't know if. I'd like to see them fucking try. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to see this. 
No. I mean, we kind of need to get there, though, so maybe fighting pirates isn't the best plan. But so we could if go we around. could goad Gans into attacking us, Gil could potentially get his ship back, and we could have a means of transportation. But then what if we get the ship back, and then another pirate ship attacks us, and it becomes this whole chain of pirates attacking? The Furtive Glance if, is if the like fastest Gil... ship on the sea. Exactly. Win... Is there not a code of conduct when it comes to pirates? <laughs> <laughs> That's not at the... all. Clearly, <laughs> that's my position. <laughs> a little salty. A little sea salty. Uh, to be fair... The crew of, if it's the even close to the same size, it was a big crew. You're going to have to get more people if you're planning on doing something like that. Plus, yeah. we had a, we had a good What crew. makes you think they're even over here? That's a good point, too. They might not be, which might be good, because Gans is a tough, tough fighter. That was his jam. Uh, Ostensibly, just what they refer to colloquially as spitballing. What are you even saying with all those words? <laughs> I, I grab my drink from the ottoman and I put it on one corner of the map, and then I uh, I, I reach for Can's drink and see if it's uh, empty. I've been sipping steadily. Okay, so it's not empty. I set it back down. <laughs> Do and, you need you here? And it pulls a big knife out of his pocket. Here you go. I grab the knife gingerly and I stab. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Whoa, dude, you're what? stabbing his floor. <laughs> yeah, into the opposite it's, corner of the map. It's heavy. You could have just said it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I read that uh, incorrectly. That's fair. That's that's fair. I, you I notice that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> just, just leave it. I'll, I'll take care of it. I, I apologize. I, I'm sorry. Weren't you? Naz, weren't you and Fee trying to go somewhere in Argaria? Like, I know that ship was going, uh... I read the manifest, where the fuck was... I know, I'm just... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I thought it was... So it was on the way to Starstrom? I thought it, it was, was on the... leaving way. from Starstrom on the way to... To Avstan. Yeah, Cal Avstan. Cal okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was going to Cal Iagon. I mean, I definitely would like to get back at some point. That's, that's where T is. What about you, Naz? Or would you, you got something going there? You definitely wanted to go to that one place. Where was that? Is that the warlock thing we that know, you hid from us? We all know you guys are both warlocks now. Cats out of the bag. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe don't spring that on somebody. You heard us talking. We already said this shit yeah. when you were sneaking up on us. No, the I didn't hear that part. I just heard you guys talking about the Inquisition. I wasn't sure. The I had an idea. Okay, to be fair... I marked you guys for warlocks pretty quick. Then why are you acting all weird about it? I didn't know it was going to just come out like that. It's very unsettling. Does to it pose a things. problem? Why? Not for me. Okay. Then Loom? You then look over cool. at Loom and his face is just like very serious. Are you like... Warlocks? Are yeah, you, why are you looking like that, Are Loom? you also a warlock? I am not a warlock. Are no. you an inquisition? Or Do you dislike <laughs> warlocks? What is this? No, it's just not information that is easy to hear. Why? So casually. Oh, wait, did you, like, have a fight with a warlock? Did something bad happen? Like, maybe you guys were good friends and then you fell out. What happened, Loom? Answer all of these questions. Answer! Simultaneously. At once. Come on, Loom! I, he, like, puts his hand up, relaxes his face. It's, it's fine. I used to date a warlock. That's all. Was it one of them? One of whom? <laughs> <laughs> I point back and forth. <laughs> it was not. Then there shouldn't be a problem. Some things I have a Thank chip you, on Ken. my shoulder about. I, but I won't judge you from what I've seen from her and her ilk. I'll just say that. Yeah, please don't. The warlock part of me, I think, is the better part of me, so... That's it's understandable, given the stigma that we have. Yes, For sure. I, I don't blame you. You find it less of a stigma a few years ago, but with the Inquisition now sort of putting its claws in different areas of the Echo Province, it's become a bit um, more people are... There's been a lot of negative propaganda around us. Yes, but there have been also some incidences that have arisen in the last little while that has made the 
inclusion of the Inquisition a little bit more necessary? I mean, it's kind of a coin toss. Which one of you guys are evil or not, you know? Um, it depends on who you're making your packs with. I've seen no evil intent out of either of you. It was actually quite a surprise. Thank you. Do you guys have, like, nice patrons or something? Yeah, Nez, we know nothing about your patron. Like, what's going on here? Why didn't you tell us? Why would you hide it? I mean, you hid it, too. I didn't hide it. I'm gonna go pee. Okay, I guess I did hide it. (laughs) More like gonna go tea. (laughs) (laughs) Nez, in the back of your mind, you hear... Um, you might not want to reveal too much. I think that, uh, consider this just professional courtesy, but maybe don't go into too much detail. Nez, why are you making but that it's face? Your funeral. What are you looking at, man? Yeah, but it, why what are you, are you all doing? Quiet now. What is that? What are you staring at? <laughs> why are you doing I have that? to go to a wooden glen and punch <laughs> dance out my rage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't talk about it because it's not something I'm particularly proud of. I mean, you got cool abilities and shit. What happened? What? I got myself into a less than favorable situation and I agreed to things without thinking them through and I'm not exactly happy with the deal that was made. Uh, Did Hmm. you sign a blood contract like Cam? In a way, yes. Hmm. Am I a warlock? (laughs) Oh shit, maybe. Oh. Do you feel (laughs) warlocky? Do you feel... Do you feel like <laughs> do you feel <laughs> like a warlock? Huh. I mean that, that was kind of vague. Who is it? But I that that's do you know who it is? information. My patron's name is Toko Lagashi. Toko Lagashi. Toko Lagashi. Have any of us heard of that name? Um no. Hmm. Look. Is he like a demon or is he like a I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case. I It was a moment of weakness. An accident happened with father. And I felt guilty. And I wanted to make it right. And it was a bad deal. And now I'm trying to make that right. Did that dude just show up out of the blue? Like, why was he there in the first place? It- Careful. What does he look like? Looking back on it... What's his CR level? <laughs> 9,000. <laughs> Looking back on it, it does seem rather convenient that they showed up when they did. But in in my grief, I was blinded to that. Oh mm. no, is, is your daddy dead? I believe his current state could be categorized as undead. Oh. Uh-oh. Shit. So not dead, dead. Somewhere in between, yes, Ken. Oh, damn. That's pretty heavy. Hmm. And my brothers and sisters found out about what happened, and I believe that some of them are hunting me. Oh, shit. You've got brothers and sisters, huh? You're being hunted? Yes. They blame me for what happened to father, and I don't blame them, really. Well, did you do something? I'm the one that accidentally killed father. <gasps> oh. Wow, well, you're just really letting really? it all hang out. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> shit. We got into an argument. Oh, shit. This <laughs> was a spite you? murder? <laughs> Cause, because I found out what he was doing, and I didn't agree with his methods. You see, all of, all of us, my, me and my brothers and my sisters, He stole us away from our families because he didn't want us to be brought up in the wrathful upbringings of normal chromatic dragonborn. He wanted to teach peace. He had good intentions, but he wasn't fully honest with us all. And an argument ensued and things happened and I'm not proud of it. Wow. Families can be rough, dude. It sucks, man. You also seem like 
you're, I mean, you seem like a good guy. So, I mean, I think you're doing good trying to make good steps after that. I'm trying. So he stole you from the dragonborn people? From my biological family, yes. Me, I don't want he, Maybe not my place, but I've had I've had a drink. Maybe he wasn't such a nice guy. Ooh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Most kidnappers probably aren't known to be nice guys. Uh, do we know that the chromatic dragonborn have that uh, affiliation with being evil and shit? Um, not necessarily. Um, it's 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 pretty fluid. There's there's some definite uh, extremists. Yeah, there's extremists and there's like some stereotypes. Hmm. So with this circumstance, you're probably not like buddy buddy with your with your uh, buddy, huh? Nah, we're the best of friends, aren't we, Nez? Tell him we're the best of friends. It's a very complicated relationship. Ooh, that's a good way <laughs> of putting it. Good, good. Yes, this is complicated, but allow me to make it a little less complicated. I told you not to tell anybody, and now you're going to pay the price. And that's where we're going to end for the night. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. Spicy patron. <laughs> this is ay, spicy ay, ay, patron. Ay. Rangers. <laughs> Don't go lagashi. I almost, oh my God. Every time I get inspiration, I never spend it. <laughs> Every there single really time. There really wasn't Yeah, there wasn't a lot of rolling yeah. happening in that Can one. I keep it then? No. Fuck. Because <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it again. Oh, Maybe. man, that's great. Maybe I never Fact. will again. <laughs> Ever. Never. <laughs> in like the 500 episodes that and this is going to turn like, into, God which I love, it. by the way. <laughs> that's something I want to discuss with you guys at some point. Wait, discuss what? 500 episodes. Well, just... 500? I'm very okay with how drawn out this has been so far. Yeah, I'm, it's been fun. I really like playing this character. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I hope that I don't get sick of it. I don't see myself getting sick of playing Nez Mm -mm. for a while. There's been so much mystery. Yeah, and I'm very into all of our characters and our dynamic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm just very into living in even this how world. even <laughs> how they all arranged themselves in the room. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Um yeah. Well, and we're I 53 mean, episodes in the can now, and we're just now can. getting to this Scratch part the of your, yeah. your backstory and stuff. Well, and it's way different from last campaign because we went in knowing each other. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah. it's and totally there like, different. There was, like, a year of, of yeah. backstory right. and stuff anyway. So, yeah. so yep. I'm, I'm just really digging this. Yeah. I've been thinking about that cool. a lot lately, and I wanted to tell you guys I love you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have that on recording. So much love. <laughs> Blood mail Please send it out. Send. <laughs> Immediately, you guys' faces both changed. <laughs> and both said blackmail. And I said, send me that file. Because <laughs> I want to hear it many times. <laughs> oh. Oh. A little audio clip. Just <laughs> It's her new phone ringtone. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got to take this. <laughs> I'm fired. It's my lawyer. <laughs> I really should have said this to my work ringtone. <laughs> my maid died. <laughs> uh, mm. That was good. Uh, all right, now it's time for tonight's MVPC. Pterodactyl. Oh, Most valuable player character. I want to know who deserves an additional 1D10 of DM inspiration. Now, for those of you listening and for those of you here at the table, Nez is one, Gil is two, Fee is three, and Can is four. On the count of three, I'll have you guys hold up the number of fingers corresponding oh, God. To, the, <laughs> to the person you would like to see become the MVPC. Now, I'll give you a moment to decide, and then we will vote. <laughs> what was that? Hmm? What'd you just roll for? Are you uh, rolling to decide? <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody can see it. <laughs> I meant to have it on self, but the first one was myself. <laughs> uh, I was going to vote it anyway. I'm ready. ready. One, two, three, vote. <gasps> All oh, right, shit. we've got three votes for Nez and one vote for Gil. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Fucking sick. <laughs> Wait, what was I doing? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Nez, why'd you vote for Gil? Uh, kind of, again, just propelling everybody along. Uh, I really liked 
<laughs> it's not part of the episode, like the part of the story, but I liked Gil's answer to the campfire question. That raises a lot of questions for me. I'm very intrigued about that. Um, Gil was quick thinking on his feet, immediately jumped to what I perceive as defending us by attacking what he thought was an inquisitor, which was super cool, super daddy energy. Um, <laughs> okay, Hopper, we see you. You are yeah. the oldest one in the group. Very, I mean, very bi- biologically yeah. oldest. Not Daddy age-wise. Steve Harrington energy on that one. I liked that a lot. Um, and just uh, him talking about his past and finding out about Gans and the furtive glance and stuff like that mm-hmm. was very cool, and I'm very into it. Thanks, man. Yes. Uh, Gil, why did you vote for Nez? Uh, he loosened them lips right up for us. <laughs> revealed some sea grease. Told the people what they want to hear. His outside hole. <laughs> his outside <laughs> hole. <laughs> Took his inside hole and turned it to an outside hole. He also surprised me with his like uh, eagerness to want to go on my quest and get my ship back. So yeah. that was fun. Nice. Yeah. Fee, why'd you vote for him? Yep, the story unfolding is pretty cool. Just understanding where he's coming from. Um, yeah, and it just adds a lot of like intrigue that he had like such a bad moment there. And he's just like this nice guy. You'd never know. It's fun. It was good. Nice. And can. Yeah, I like seeing the layers of Nez being peeled back and seeing his rotten core. (laughs) (laughs) Just how rot does this go? (laughs) But also, I I enjoy, I like Nez's little inner voice guy Mm -hmm. talking to him. The original odd couple. (laughs) (laughs) Odd couple. That's not the I got No, that's a what game show is that? I don't know. It was like a happy little theme song. Odd Couple is... It's probably Price is Right, because I watched a lot of Price is Right as a kid. It's not. Price is Right is... The Odd Couple song is like on the tip of my brain, and I can't think of it because you guys we can look it up after. If you, if you know what the, the <laughs> that song is that Lindsay was singing, let us know in the comments. Yeah, tell uh, us. <laughs> um, Type it out. <laughs> well, yeah, that means tonight's MVPC is Nezra Casio. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah, got a one yeah, D yeah, ten, buddy. Yeah, Take it. Yeah, Your past yeah, was yeah. evil, <laughs> but it isn't who you are. <laughs> You're supposed to keep going. <laughs> That's how this works. Thanks. We're making a song. Thanks. I love you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for tonight, folks. Thanks for listening. Thanks to Adrian Von Ziegler for that beautiful background music. If you're enjoying this podcast, head on over to Apple Podcast, or really, you could go over to Spotify or anywhere that you uh, listen to this, I think, most of those places, and leave a review. If you leave us a review, uh, we will read it on the podcast. Consider leaving a five-star review. We'd really appreciate that. Bump us up and all algorithm and uh, more people can hear us just like you also head on over to patreon.com slash d20 underscore syndicate we are offering tiers for dollars we have things we do including uh you know access to episodes early so any episode uh you'll get it a few days before anybody else will uh we've also got bonus content we've you know behind the scenes we've got a bunch of cool shit so check it out consider making us warlocks with your patronage and see if anything you know trips your crossbow check out all of our social media facebook instagram twitter tiktok Anything we've got, you should check it out. Um, And, you know, follow us. We love it. Also, we've got merch. And that merch can be found, well, probably in the episode description. Uh, See if there's any interesting bobbles or articles of clothing with our faces on it. Well, not our real faces. Character faces. I don't even have a face. And um, (laughs) (laughs) with which to apply to a shirt. Um, And, yeah, you know, help us out in that way. Uh... Paid also, to help Seth get a face. Yes. Yeah. I have it's be no mouth, surgery, but I must scream. <laughs> I have no mouth, but it must be on a shirt. I have no <laughs> out hole. <laughs> uh, and we also have a Discord, and it is 
Yay. It's a free Discord. Most are. Ours is too. We're cool like that. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's also in the episode description. If you want to come hang out with us, we're in there literally every day. So you can come in there and tell us how much we suck or what we were wrong about or what we were right about or, you know, anything. We've got a bunch of channels. So head on over to Discord and, you know, come come chat. Talk Other- to me about how much you love the movie Clue. Yeah. Because Billy fucking loves Clue. He Tell won't shut it. up about it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He had a Clue-themed wedding. <laughs> it was awkward for everybody because he insisted that On both- being Mr. Body. Yeah. <laughs> and being carried everywhere. <laughs> That's so much better than what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, you guys, you insisted that both of you were Colonel Mustard. Uh, um but yeah, uh, yeah, come hang out in the Discord. Other than that, that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for listening. We will see you next week. I am your host and DM, Seth, and this is the D20 Syndicate Podcast, where we go on adventures so you don't have to. Sayonara, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> hey, Oh yeah, is this making me look old? Look like. Getting you lit from old? a weird place. No, you almost you look like really young. Because I was in that like I was in that gas station bathroom and I was like, "Fuck, oh no." <laughs> is it better over what? here? Am I <laughs> every? i my face is falling off my face. Oh, it couldn't have had good lighting though. Am I less red? <laughs> I'm just red. There was a ring light. It just turns into the <laughs> scene. Wouldn't that be weird? Gas station bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> just turns I into the scene from Poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be weird if I'll gas stations started accommodating oh, like okay. YouTube creators, so uh, they had ring lights and stuff. I'm gonna oh. do a makeup tutorial on the go. God, uh, you'd never get into the bathroom. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Are I you just recording? Want <laughs> are, are you recording? Oh yeah. Oh God! Previously on. <laughs> That's not what you <laughs> into said, the though. yonder void. I can. We should do a one shot. That's stuff. into the yonder Floyd. We could call it previously yonder void. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Has ever been bunchy jumping? <laughs> <laughs> I've got the bunchies. Is that like bunchy jumping when you wait? <laughs> Man, this we is gonna be interesting. For <laughs> but for some reason, I thought wedgie was bunchy, <laughs> like I in mean, my head. That's definitely it. Can bunch up? Yeah, it happen. can. So it depends on what kind of underwear you're wearing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like bungee jumping with a wedgie. I mean, that's you're gonna get a wedgie if you're bungee jumping. It's true. <laughs> if you, as long oh as you're God. secured correctly. Yeah. Have you ever been rock climbing and then they like? In gym class or whatever, like they put on the whole harness yeah. thing. Now imagine Rock climbing in gym class. Where yeah. did you guys go to school? God, it fucking sucked. <laughs> I liked climbing Disney real high rocks. School. <laughs> <laughs> now, Disney now school. imagine having outside parts. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, if you position the harness right, you can kind of like. It sucks either way. I don't think you God. guys might. You might not realize how outside some parts <laughs> are. <laughs> some people have innies. Some people have outies. Man, um. <laughs> <laughs> what sucked is like uh, not only that discomfort, but also my partner who was supposed to be like tethering me was a way like tiny skinny kid. And I was like, ah, <laughs> like, no, I'm going to die. What are you doing? Even though the middle school rock wall was like not very high. It's still <sighs> there was more than one rock wall. Um, I don't know. Well, in middle school, it was just like a small one. There's, does that like imply that there's up. a high school one? Oh, I don't know. I didn't have high school gym. I got out of it because I was in show choir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you, choir rebel. <laughs> Getting <laughs> out of gym. For rock you got walls. a little bit of a double voice going on. I do? Double? I noticed that on the second to last episode what? during the funnies during the funnies yeah you get you get it got a little echoey you know, it's probably because she was farther away and then got picked up on another mic mm. oh. just make sure you're closer to your mic stay off her mic <laughs>
Get yeah. the fuck off my mic. How do I get on other people's Mika, mics? Mika, you could turn yours more toward you there. Yeah, it's just like right in my fucking hole. I said turn it, not get it closer to your hole. <laughs> maybe we all need drum shields. Okay, maybe get it out of your maybe hole. Maybe stop talking about our holes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family podcast. Some people have innies, some people have... <laughs> <laughs> my outer hole. <laughs> <laughs> is, that that, is that like the outer limits? Yes. Well, <laughs> you it would be in but it's on show. It, It's still on Showtime. No, it's somehow but only it's on after midnight. <laughs> it's just red shoe out of holes. <laughs> Ew. Uh, ew. I guess indeed. Twinkies have any holes too. Otherwise, how would you cream them? Yeah. <laughs> how would you cream this bun? <laughs> Son, it's I time. Think that's what they call it when they make the Twinkies. <laughs> I'm the sponge creamer. <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> at, at Twinkie. Is that LLC? No. <laughs> we, we got nah. it early <laughs> before the terminology. The ground floor. You want to get Aren't in on they this? owned by Hostess? Nope. Yeah. No, Not no. my Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> if I find out that's true, more bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Actually. Oh wow! Because I was like, guys, really, are you sure? Fucking amazing! I smell salt. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's why you turn your headphones down. Mine were down. Why is the podcast so much quieter? I was just yelling because everyone was yelling. <laughs> that was like little rascals. We did good, guys. <laughs> just use that in the episode. <laughs> yeah, an event. Anytime something crazy happens, <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. You're welcome for that free ringtone <laughs> Allergies yeah. are wild, right? Fuck them mm-hmm. Just crazy mm-hmm. I started getting hand hives if I don't take my allergy meds <laughs> Stick them in your outer hole Which is apparently a thing Getting hand hives like just on your palms Hand hives Ooh, sounds the cool Oh, the palms the palms I've hand, never had hand hives. Sounds palm. like a really weird subreddit. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Have we researched this? Nope. Yeah. Let's see. Type <laughs> R slash hand hives. You're gonna get some gross shit happening. Yeah. Glad I'm not seeing that. It, it's yeah, either gonna be weird, a though. weird niche sex thing or a weird niche. Gross. What would even or it be might the be sex like thing? Lu- lupus or something. And hi- yeah. yeah, what would be the sex thing? Hives? What's going through you your mind, Billy? You don't. <laughs> All I'm saying. Are we going to have this conversation? Are we going down this road? What's Do we want to go down this road? What road? Yeah. Weird sex stuff road? Yeah. Do you yeah. Guys- this okay. friends, All right. like. Let me pose a question. You guys ready for this? Why would anyone yeah. be in a Is this a campfire Why question? would anyone yes. be in the hives? Whoa, there's no R hand hives. Okay. Well, see, that shit up. <laughs> see, Billy, have more faith in humanity, I guess. <laughs> You're ready to get it oh, knocked back down? I have safe surgery. I have safe surgery. Oh, okay. You, you ready to get it knocked back down? No. Let me pose this question. Why do you have safe search on? I don't know. I don't go on Reddit on my laptop. He wants to censor himself. He's nervous. <laughs> Do you guys know what sounding is? Sounding? Ooh, um... That's a book with the dog. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard what it is, but I don't remember. Sounder. What if I've been doing what it? What is that? You've never read Sounder in school? No. Oh, well, it's a sad dog book. Sounding, one uh. of many. Sounding <laughs> is the you noise that fang? comes out of headphones? Nope. It's more like old yeller. It's oh. like discount old yeller. Do you guys want to do um, the question? I like that we pivoted away from the sound. Good call. Uh, yeah, I love those. Whenever I do read out loud, I can't comprehend it most of the time. What's your question, Seth? Joe's just waiting. Okay. Uh, you got to stop. You got to do a hard from shut up. And then... <laughs> Yeah. Fear us on course. Just Thanks wait, for not for you to get we'll it. Just surprise us by <laughs> kissing us all in the mouth. That'll shut us up. <laughs> That's what sounding is. <laughs> Is that why scarves aren't as popular anymore? Because everybody has neck tattoos? I feel like that was just a face that just... I'm glad it's gone. This is a target <laughs> if someone wants I to stab gone my too. I wore the fuck out of some scarves. Me too. Any type of weather. I was mm-hmm. like, it's scarf weather, baby. <laughs> I hate scarves. I'm wearing them. Mm. Yeah, it feels if I like... Were, if I were skinny mm-hmm. enough to pull off like a nice pea coat and a good scarf, you bet your ass I would be doing that. <laughs> a I hate winter scarf, scarf is great. You have a good frame for a pea coat yeah. because you got the broad shoulders. Didn't yeah. you have a pea coat? Nope. 
Do you never, see? I've never owned one because I've always. Get a fucking pea coat. Oh, really? Really? Billy, a pea you coat. seem like a pea coat guy for sure. I would, you would be. You would but look I don't, good in a pea coat. Yeah, I wouldn't just trust, trust me. Coat, I, would, trust I would look me. like an old sea captain. Okay, we that's need to put you on the That's awesome. That's why they exist. That is bad. Billy, the old sea captain. About your own visualization of yourself. Attack him about his clothing choices. Hey, Billy. I don't want to be the burly sea captain. I want to be the lanky sea captain. We're going to the store and we're going to make Billy try on a pea coat. That's true. We're going to cut off your leg and give you a peg leg. (laughs) (laughs) I will provide a parrot. That's fine because I basically have tree stumps for legs anyway. Where did you get this parrot? Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's a dove. (laughs) It's one of the dove. (laughs) Tomas can have already paint skin. (laughs) Some of the paint got in one of its eyes and it's just like sealed shred. (laughs) Eye patch. Eye patch. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be so cute on a parrot. Aww. Damn, Mika calls FK Twigs a bitch. <laughs> oh, great. Here comes the Twitter beef. <laughs> oh, bitch. man. What kind like of beef? Her. Is it steak? Roast beef? It's Twitter beef. <laughs> Corned beef. Corned beef. Hash. 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 Speaking oh, of Twitter beef, beef. Yeah. the Doja Cat... No, no, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and their man. names kind of rhyme. <laughs> Doja, Doja Cat, Cat and no, no snap. snap. <laughs> and Joseph Quinn is there too. <laughs> Maybe Doja Cat shouldn't have been that thirsty. Jeez. To talk to a 17 year old about another person. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's so weird. Talk to the agent, maybe? Or like, talk to the guy you're involved? into. Yeah, she she couldn't or find him. Google. That's true. Google him, he, and he it would said, take you to his Instagram. Yeah, but his Instagram Details. was new, and he doesn't update it a lot. Oh, it's I all see. like Stranger Things I themed. See. I got into this beef. <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, a seventeen-year-old is getting called out. I'm in." <laughs> <laughs> I love calling out seventeen-year-olds. So yeah, it's also such an wrong. unlikely pairing. It really did right. pique my interest. Yeah. <laughs> huh. It's like, what could they be fighting well, about? Well, and she fucked it up. She did the Streisand effect. Where it's like, if she would have just not freaked out about it like mm-hmm. she did, or called attention to it, it would have already been done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it already would have dissipated from the fucking zeitgeist. I think, yeah, I think people would have thought it was, like, funny. Now yeah. they're like, you're yeah. being mean to Noah Schnapp. Right. You're being mean to Will. We saw him cry. And now Eddie's going to be like, really? My brother? <laughs> and yeah, it's not going to happen. Unless he hates Noah Schnapp. Could. That's not his brother. I mean, kind of. Brother in They're all brothers and brother stranger in film. Things. I don't know. <laughs> they never even met on screen. They're part of the same acting brother. <laughs> you know, it's like like a yeah, that's true. Gang like most of the band. Well, I guess yeah, a few of them didn't meet. We don't know what was going on behind the scenes. Yeah, we do. There's the behind the scenes clips on YouTube. They I'm just saying, I'm just saying they're not brothers in any way. No. Maybe they're brothers in Christ. <laughs> there we go. My brother in Baphomet. I just imagine that That's they all... That's why he tattled. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's Jesus what it, knew. That's what a good boy would do. <laughs> we see the haircut. If she wanted to call him out, it would have been way funnier just to call him a tattletale. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. Like, Why are you I, think is, I love calling people tattletales because <laughs> it makes them feel awful. <laughs> yeah, Mike Wright just called me a tattletale on Facebook. <laughs> Did you feel awful? Yeah, I was like, fuck you, Mike. It makes you feel small. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh. No, you are. Mike! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.